I took some students to the Art Institute of Chicago recently and asked them to go around the rooms devoted to American painting from 1900 to 1950 and then talk about one painting that took their attention. Three out of the twelve students chose this picture, The Rock by Peter Bloom, even though Edward Hobber's Nighthawks was right next to it. I thought that maybe they were responding to the cartoonish caricaturing of the figures, the bright, hard-edged articulation of the objects, the fantasy land juxtaposition of impossible objects and distorted space. But in addition to pointing out these elements, they all had interesting things to say about the painting's narrative meaning, the implied story about man's ability to build and to destroy. I still think this painting is mainly a corny piece of 1940s American surrealism, but thanks to the students, I was able to see things in it that I hadn't seen before. The moral? Never underestimate the ability of 20-year-olds to make you question your assumptions.